do the TV series like Sopranos, Following, Covert Case, uh, The Killing, transform the visual culture and the storytelling? Uh, I think it does really change a lot the storytelling and the way the characters are explained and uh, um, it reminds me a bit of the, um, how do you say, romanzi of 800, 800 like Dostoevsky, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I think it does change a lot and it's the most interesting things we can see the actors are a lot better. You see incredible actors. There are no stars, then they become stars because of the TV series. But you know, you say, oh my gosh, there's so many good actors. Also because, in a way, I think the characters are so much more explained, and uh, you get more time to understand the characters. And as an actor, it's even easier. And the, the way they're written is very nice and the things that happen, I mean, they're so free. They can do what they want. They have no censorship because it's uh, HBO, private channels, so they can do whatever they want. Instead, in theater, film theater, it's... I don't think you have that freedom, especially not in Hollywood. Does the crowdfunding system remain an independent segment of filmmaking? Well, that's a good question. I don't know. I just saw uh, that there is on Kickstarter, that is the American um, crowdfunding, I just saw a film that managed to get five million dollars. So that is not independent anymore. I mean, to make five million dollars on a crowdfunding platform is, in, is amazing. And uh, I think the big majors are gonna take it as well, because of course those five million dollars come out of many, many people who of course are going to go to see the film. They're going to feel proud because they made the film possible. They're going to tell everyone, go see my film, you know, I did it. So that makes audience. So um, I don't think it's gonna, be just an independent thing. It's gonna. I think it's gonna get bigger. But who knows? Maybe they just want to. Uh, who knows? But in a way, I hope it's gonna get bigger as well. Because if not, it just remains an independent thing. Uh, what is the difference between TV film and feature filmmaking? Um, well, the first thing that comes to my mind is that the difference is time. Mm, so for the film, for the movie theater, uh, we had seven weeks of shooting. Uh, for the TV, we had four weeks. So that makes a big difference because um, you know you have to run. So you can be not as choosy and picky in doing your scenes because you know you have to uh, walk on and so that is maybe the first difference um, and that obviously affects uh, the quality a bit. The fact that it's there on the internet and then that one can download it, it's such a privilege. I mean of course it would be better in a film but 10 years later you can still download it. I mean that's a miracle, it's so great. Whenever people ask me, how do I see it, I say, download it, it's there. It's, uh, <laughs> also, I'm not the producer, I'm not the distributor, so I'm not getting any money out of it. So I think the sharing of culture uh, that comes with the internet is a great thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, it's going parallel with the um, poverty of the distribution of culture, uh, money-wise, I mean, there's a big censorship there. Mm -hmm. uh, how does the social media change the process of filmmaking? I've been interesting, interested for a while in the um, cross-media uh, and uh, there's a lot of talk of cross-media even for films. So that means involving the, um, uh, how do you say, the spectators, even in maybe the writing of the film, 
and uh, maybe even in the mm, decision of the cast or who are going to be the actors. So, um, and that has a lot to do with crowdfunding, it's very similar to crowdfunding as well, where everyone is part of the, not only in giving the money, but also in making decisions. And sometimes even maybe in picking the end, you know, how do you want it to end? Maybe there are three different endings. We were talking with a friend, I don't know, maybe yesterday, I don't know, with someone, and we were saying, ah, oh, it would be fun if um, the same film has different endings depending on which theater you go. So in that theater it ends one way, in the other theater it ends another way. And you know, it's only you only have to shoot five different scenes. It's the same film with five different scenes, and so you. So that could be a way to make theaters more interesting. You know, you run. Ah, let's, I want to see that ending. No, I want. To, I like the drama, so I want to see that ending. So I think there are ways to play with the um, interaction of uh, uh, people. That depends if you want to do it, if it makes sense, if it makes money. Uh, because in the end, it's all about making money, maybe. You know, you can experiment, you can do what you want, but you do it for your pleasure, for art, for... But if you want to make money, and that's in the end what film is about because it's very expensive to make a film so you have to be able to get your money back and so but i'm sure they're going to try everything <laughs> okay thanks for the interview thank you